Alright, clean slate. Fucking sap shit. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. Let's uh let's get into it. Alright, welcome to the channel. My name is Dan and this is Viking Designs. <laughs> Now in today's episode, I wanna to talk tools, specifically the Bosch 18 volt bio turbo plunge saw, also known as the GKT 18V52GC. I've probably owned this saw for maybe like 10 months now, somewhere around that mark. And yeah, I get excited every time I pull it out. It's fucking awesome. Now, anyone that knows me knows I love this plunge saw. I've also got a Festool corded version, but I must say I'm using the Bosch one a lot more these days. So let's go over the features of this saw. This thing is rocking a bi-turbo motor that pumps out 1620 watts of power. It's basically giving you corded power on a battery tool and it only takes one battery. So that's pretty impressive. You can cut at minus one degree and plus 47 degrees. And you can also cut within 10 millimeters, which makes it possible to trim right up against a wall. This thing has got a 140 millimeter blade. More on that later. The blade bore size is 20 mil, which you'll find on most Diablo blades. Being the Bosch owns Diablo, they're, um, they're always gonna make them compatible. The cut capacity on this is 52 millimeters without the guide, 46 millimeters with the guide rail. But let's be honest, who isn't cutting on the guide rail? And it weighs just over four kilograms. Now, a couple other notable features on this thing. It is compatible with a bunch of different guide rails from other manufacturers such as Festool, Makita. So that is super handy. It has Bluetooth connectivity. You just hit the trigger, open up the app on the phone that will register the tool. It will also allow you to do things like modify the RPM so if you're cutting something like laminate you can adjust the speed of suit I'm just always fucking 100% on everything so as with a lot of these new Bosch by turbo tools there is an eco mode by hitting that you're gonna get a little bit more life out of your uh, out of your battery it's got an integrated dust adapter which works fairly decently I hook it up to my little Bosch vac and it's got a sturdy magnesium base on the bottom. All right, so that's enough of the spec sheet. Let's talk some pros and cons with this thing. Now, now the pros, in my opinion, you're getting a fairly lightweight, really portable track saw. It does have a stack of power. You only need to use one battery, which is nice. It's just super easy to grab it and go. Now the dust extraction on it works fairly decently in my opinion. The first tool probably works better, but, but it still does make a massive difference having it. Another thing I really like about this saw is it is super accurate. It's got a fairly nice depth adjustment on it. And all in all, the ergonomics feel pretty premium on this product. Now you could pick this up for $835 from Total Tools in Australia. That's skin only though, so you're gonna have to have your own batteries. Now for the batteries, Bosch recommend using either an eight or 12 amp hour battery to get the most out of the saw. Now, another pro, aside from having your normal guide rail tracks, you can also pick up this cross cut track which is great if you don't want to get the drop saw out, but you do want to get a perfect cut. It's also really nice if you're trying to cut some angles. It just gives you a nice bit of precision. I do, however, wish this track was just a little bit longer, but, um, but aside from that, it is a really handy little bit of kit to have in the car. Now for the cons with this saw, probably my biggest gripe is the blade, or the blade size. So this saw takes a 140 millimeter blade. In Australia, they are not that common. I've gone to like three different hardwares and the only one I could find was 140 mil with a 20 millimeter bore, but it was meant for cutting aluminium. I don't know, they just don't seem to be that common around here. So I can't just pick one up when I'm at my local hardware, which is, which is pretty annoying. I'm probably gonna have to buy a stack of them online and just stash them away. Now, being a 140 millimeter blade, you also don't get the same depth 
that other saws may give you. And whilst 46 millimeters isn't too bad, when you push that on a 45 degree angle, yeah, you, you're not getting a great deal of depth there. Now, me personally, I haven't needed that depth. Um, for the applications that I'm using it for, I've never ran into an issue, but it's just something to be aware of. The type of work that I'm doing is like residential carpentry, it's ripping down plywood, and it's uh, breaking down sheets of foam ply, it's trimming up hardwood decks and composite decks. And for all those applications, I really can't fault it. Actually, one more thing, when your blade isn't super sharp and you're trying to do something like cut hardwood, it just it just bends. Because it is an 18 volt battery powered saw, you need to have a really thin blade on it. And if that blade isn't really sharp, then it is going to bend. So you need to keep fresh blades, sharp blades on hand at all times. Otherwise you are gonna struggle. And that is where I do notice that my corded Festool performs better because it just has a thicker blade and just a little bit more grunt. But you should really keep sharp blades on any battery tool, otherwise you're just gonna kill the battery super quick. So that's not as much a criticism of this saw, that's just something you should be doing with all your battery powered tools. Obviously, if you are in the Bosch ecosystem, it's a no brainer. If you are looking to pick up your first track saw, I also think this could be a really good option. However, I always think if you are already invested in a system, just like stick with the system because carrying around multiple batteries is a massive pain. But yeah, if you're looking to dive into a new platform, I think this would be a fairly solid move. I don't know, if I didn't have any tools and I was just going to pick up a track saw by itself, I probably would go with Festool. I really do like what they do, but we're talking a different price point. I don't think this saw is perfect, but I think it's pretty damn good and I love how portable it is. I love that you can just grab it and go. You only need one battery and it's got enough power for everything that I've needed to throw at it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Have you currently got a plunge saw? Are you thinking about getting this one? If you have any other questions, hit me up in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.